Hey, what's up guys? Just wanted to give y'all an update on what's uh, going on with Doug. I'm here with Mark. He's uh, Doug's neighbor and he's been in contact with Doug's family uh, since yesterday. I'm going to let Mark explain what happened yesterday up to uh, Doug's condition right now. Okay, so basically what happened was is he was on his way to the convenience store to get his morning stuff, cigarettes and whatnot. Um, he was leaving the convenience store. He pulled out into the street. He transferred over the first lane into the second lane so he could make a left-hand turn. Um, he didn't have any lights on his bike from what I know. The driver of the vehicle that hit him didn't have any lights on and it was still dark outside. Um, he stopped to let a car pass so he could turn left into the neighborhood and the guy that was behind him didn't see him stop and basically just ran him over at about 30, 35 mile an hour or so. Um, a guy that was out on his back porch seen everything go down and ran to Doug's aid. He, they found him out in the middle of the street, uh, unconscious, bleeding, you know, from his nose and his mouth and other areas and had a big knot on his head, but basically unresponsive to anybody that was trying to render aid to him. Uh, ambulance had to pick him up and rush him over to Baylor in Dallas. Um, they found out through tests and whatnots that he broke a bone above his eye, tore it up, um, broke his cheekbone, uh, messed his sinuses all up, and he had some bleeding on his brain. Um, later, the neurologist came in and did some more tests and decided that the bleeding in his brain was actually a smaller laceration than what they thought. Um, it should be able to scab over on its own and kind of heal itself the bones as well. Um, he's still under close observation, but as of this morning, um, he was up, moving around, uh, very restless from, I guess, being under sedation for the last couple of days, um, lots of pain meds and whatnot, um, but he's up, moving around. They say he should be good to go. Um, they're going to keep him for a while and make sure everything's okay, nothing pops up that they don't know about. Um, other than that, he should be on a recovery back to normal Dougie. He's a little confused still, um, but that should go away over time. I think it's a lot to do with the sedation medications and whatnots that's going through him. But other than that, Doug should make a full recovery and be back to Dougie Fresh pretty soon. Cool, so, man. Yeah. Well, that's some good news, man, for sure. Good deal. I just got done tucking, talking to Justin Yes, and, yeah, uh, I've seen him. He was over saying there. that Doug might even they might let him come even tonight, come out. Right, tonight. yes, yeah, exactly. So they're they're actually really amazed at how quick he was able to just get up and kind of recover back to his normal self because they thought he would have some sort of brain issues going on, especially with the bleeding. They didn't know where it was coming from at first and they didn't know how bad it was. And once they really did some digging and, and got to looking, it wasn't as bad as they were actually thinking. So they were able to take him off of some of the sedation medication and stuff. And sure enough, Dougie popped back to Dougie Fresh. <laughs> Just like go, that, man. man, it's God, you know, well, God working sure. working in his favor for sure. For sure, man, we, had a, lot of, we had a lot of, of course, people on YouTube you know, keeping him and his family in prayer. So, good, man, I'm very sure good. he did. He needed it. He definitely needed it. And it, and it seems like it's working very well. Awesome. Because I'm, I'm just glad he's okay. We were all really, really, really worried and just didn't know what to do with ourselves. But now that we know he's coming home, we can all kind of, yeah, you, go, you yeah. know. So. Man, I, I think we need to sell them bikes he has. Huh? Oh, we got to get rid of them. No more bicycles. We got to get rid of that motorcycle too. He don't need. <laughs> I, I, <laughs> he I don't, seen. I seen that don't. new motorcycle. He, he he need. I mean, he he needs something safer. Yeah, a motorcycle is somewhat safer than a bicycle at night. I mean, it's got lights and right. all that good safety stuff on it. If he was wearing a helmet, and let me let me tell everybody, motorcycle or not, you're on the street on two wheels. Put a helmet on, guys he would not be in the position he's in if he was wearing a helmet yeah, that's and right. that would that would have stopped a lot of this because all of his injuries is head related and if you guys put a helmet on put you a full face helmet on because it doesn't matter is it takes that one person on their cell phone or that one person reaching down to get their coffee or whatever and it's you laying out in the middle of the street put a helmet on 
<laughs> Man. It would have it would have saved him from getting injured like he did. For sure. You know, so that's all I can say about that. Hopefully they'll let him come home. If I get any more updates or anything, you guys will be the first to know. Cool, man. So, hey, appreciate it, Mark. Yeah, no problem. Appreciate yeah. it, brother. No problem, man. Oh, have man. a good day. Hey, Mark, he needs a helmet. Yeah, he needs a helmet. Yeah, he's on four tires, but still, he pulled out there in the road, and you didn't see him look over this way, did you? No, he Someone didn't. could have been on that phone at that moment yeah. and ran him over. He needs a helmet. <laughs> All right, brother. Well, hey, appreciate it, brother. Old Dougie Doug, he's gonna pull through. He's a whole lot better than what uh, he was yesterday because he was a mess yesterday, guys. And thank you for your prayers. Thank you for the kind words. I know Doug, once he uh, he's able to get around, he's gonna be very appreciative. So I'm glad that uh, Dougie Doug, he fought it through and he made it, guys. And uh, once, he, once he starts to uh, kind of recover, We'll go uh, talk to him, but for right now, I'm just going to let him rest. If he does come home tonight, uh, I'll probably wait till Monday or Tuesday before I go uh, talk to him and see him, guys, and I'll bring you guys along. So um, awesome, guys. Awesome day. Perfect day. Take care of each other. Do something good to somebody. Just love one another, guys. We'll talk to you later.